Hi guys, Creative Lori here. Welcome everyone. If you're new to my channel, I'm a home stager, but today I'm doing a challenge presented by Christina from the DIY Mommy. Now I'm sure you all are very familiar with her. She has a lovely channel and I am so envious of her studio that she had um, has been recently working on, uh, I think since early maybe late winter early spring oh my goodness you guys <laughs> anyways so she does a lot of wonderful things as far as diys and major projects like makeovers room changes she's really talented has a blog and so make sure you go check her out if you haven't already i'll leave her her channel um, in the description box below and her challenge today was uh, to present to um, all of us YouTubers how how we are going to decorate for the fall. It can be a DIY, it can be, um, you could show a vignette or a room or a home tour. Now, unfortunately, I have not had time to decorate all of my house for fall just yet, but I wanted to show you and give you guys some ideas. So basically today, is my DIY because I have a little DIY but I'm showing you how I'm pairing it together with some other items. Most of these items are all Dollar Tree items that you see in front of you except for um, a couple of gifts that I have received. Um, actually it's just one gift that I received and that's the Hello Fall chalkboard sign on the easel. But I love it and I want Maria from London to know thank you so much. I love it. Um, and I, it's already been used. I have it out the moment I opened the package. So um, my DIY was, it's a few things from the Dollar Tree. And the things that you're going to be needing, I'll show you in a second. But I'll show you what I actually made. So it's this little topiary here. And it's we all saw these galvanized buckets with a jute around it and the thankful sign, the pumpkins, everything you see here is from the Dollar Tree. From the leaves, to the thankful sign, to the bucket, to the pumpkins, everything. So let me show you what you're all gonna need. Because I'm making a second one, but I'm not gonna be making it here on camera. But let me get a little closer so you can see. I think it looks really elegant with the thankful sign. I kind of curved it around. So let me show you what you're going to need. I'll show you the boring stuff first. <laughs> so you're going to need a glue gun. And I've had mine from the Dollar Tree for many years. Or actually just a couple years, I think. But it works great. It's just a low temperature glue gun. Now that's something I should have used in this project rather than my higher temperature one that I got recently from um, Walmart. You're going to need some glue sticks, scissors, also from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> These paint brushes are from, I think this one's from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, it is, but not this one. So I just happen to use two different ones. You're going to need some paint. Um, I know that you can buy the apple barrel from the Dollar Tree. Mine doesn't sell it, but I know a lot of places, a lot of Dollar Trees do. And this is apple barrel in cream. Apple barrel in white. Now I got these from Walmart. This was, I think, $3.50 for the big one. It You don't save money buying the big one, by the way. Um, and then this is 50 cents. So you're better off sticking with the smaller ones, just to let you know. You're gonna need a package of those um, little pumpkin clips that everyone is using, but they are really cute. You're gonna need a package of those signage that we all hauled in galvanized metal. You're gonna need one of the galvanized buckets that they had sold, I don't know, I think it was spring to early summer. Then you're gonna need some of their jute twine. 
And this might sound crazy, but you're going to need, if you like the leaves that I use, the leaves off of the um, grapes from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm using these for another project. So um, I use three grape leaves or grapes bunches, grape bunches, I should say. And um, so I'll be doing another one a little later, but I want two to match because I'll probably be putting them in my dining area, flanking each side of my centerpiece. And then you're going to need, I believe this is the last item. Yes. Um, one of these, oh, there's two more items. One of these little pumpkins, you could pick whatever pumpkins they have. I really like these because they were so vibrant. I did use them in my outdoor cozy corner and I bought a couple more. So you're just gonna pluck the top off and you're gonna paint this one. Now, word of advice when you paint this one, <laughs> because it's got a glossy finish, as you can see, um, it is, it's really pretty actually the way it is. It's just a little bright for my taste. And so are all these flowers put together. I actually even redid the uh, little acorn. Oh, it's got like a little, oh, I think my cat bit it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My cats are, yep, sure did. Okay, anyways, I did paint the top to make it look more like a real acorn, but I might put like little pit marks on it, or I'll just let my cats bite it and <laughs> make it look more natural. But I just took the top off, and I'll show you. And you want to be careful when pulling this off um, because you don't want to rip the whole top of the um, pumpkin texture of actual pumpkin because I kind of did that on the first one that I did yeah it, it's this weird material that they they put on there as you can see so I took it off but um see how it's like a, almost like a latexy material over the styrofoam that they use so I just take the little styrofoam put it back down and I had to do three coats on this so I did two coats of the white let it dry really well in between each coat. And then I wanted a color um, difference, differentiation between all the pumpkins. So I did use the antique white on this one. So be I guess that's because of that glaze. It's like a weird latex glaze. So I painted this three coats, just to let you know. I did paint this also. And I'll show you how that turned out in a second. I kind of liked it, but I didn't use it in this project. So then you're going to need um, one of their carvable pumpkins. Well, if you're going to make two like I did, you're going to need two of the carvable pumpkins and two of the pumpkins that I just took the floral off of or any pumpkin that is a different size than the carvable pumpkin. So as you can see, it was a bright orange, a really ugly bright orange. I did not like that orange. So I painted it with an acrylic paint. Now, Chic on the Cheap, I love her channel. Um, I will link her down below. She does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. She had told me, and this is after I started painting and I'm painting the pumpkins. I'm so glad she told me. Don't spray paint them because they didn't stick very well. So I just had, I thought, oh, thank goodness I chose the acrylic paint. Um, but if you, you probably can't pick it up on the camera, but it is more of a chalky finish. That's what I've been experiencing when I use acrylic paints. They give things a chalky finish. So I figure why buy chalk paint when the acrylics give it that finish, especially the matte finish ones. And then I also did the little stem. You could see a little bit of blue, uh, brown and green poking through. That's a lot, a lot of green poking through. But And I'm going to be putting some leaves on this one also. But what you're going to do is take the little stem off. And there's like a little um, toothpick that they use. You'll leave that in there. And um, you're going to poke it or use it to poke on the other pumpkin after it gets painted this one. So after it's painted all of your pumpkins, you're going to be using your jute twine. You're going to be cutting um, your jute twine in equal amounts. And I should have kept that pumpkin here. Let me grab another one. I bought, I think, eight of them. So here's one I need to touch up, but just to give you an example. 
you're going to cut pieces you don't need to cut you know enough to where it covers the center you just need enough to go from the top oops let me grab that sorry guys and I'm not showing you the actual DIY because I cannot edit so um, which will be changing <laughs> but as you can see I added the jute in between each little division of the pumpkin which I think it makes it look a lot more a um, little more upscale than the styrofoam carvable pumpkin that it is and I cut it about there and um, actually I didn't even go that far up on the top I probably went only about there you're not gonna see it so just make sure when you put your pumpkin on top that you can't see it so just kind of you know gauge it so you want to go about halfway in basically so I cut about um, let's see I think it was six, 15 or 16 pieces, same size, Put up, hot glued them all the way around. I just put the hot glue on the top and the bottom. And then the other thing that I did was I took my little thankful sign and I thought about using different ones, you know, like welcome, but I really like the thankful one the best. So, and it, it wasn't as long as like the welcome one. You're going to need to bend it. So I tried hot glue. I don't like um, E6000. But see how long this is? It takes over half of the pumpkin. So I just think that looks so beautiful just the way it is. But um, So you need to bend this a bit and bend it to like a coat, you know, like a half circle. Not too, too much, just enough. And after you put all your jute on, you just weave the each side in of the T of the thankful and the L of the um, end of the thankful. So I'll get close and show you that because I didn't actually hot glue everything together just yet. So as you can see, I just wove it in on that side and sorry i had the flash on this side you don't even really see it and then i did hot glue the leaves from the grapes i just took the tops off and i hot glued it on the inside i wanted to see all the little curly cues of the branches of you know the grapevine and I liked the leaves I thought about painting the leaves but I actually loved the green it needed a little greenery then I am going to hot glue this on here now you can slide the thankful part up and down hopefully you can see that maybe I should turn the flash back on <laughs> there we go and I just tucked another one in there. Now that one I did hot glue. And this one, sorry, you probably can't see. I tucked that one in with a little bit of hot glue. And then the one on the very top, I just tucked it in because it was a tight fit. So that's all I did, guys. It's just a pumpkin topiary. You're going to be using, as you can see, I use one of the toothpicks from another pumpkin. And I just put it in here and before I slid it all the way down, I just took my greenery and I took the little ugly part, I call it, and stuck it in and then pushed my pumpkin down so that you could see the little vine. And you could E6000 the thankful on. I would not use um, hot glue because hot glue, and I use the high temperature one, <laughs> it actually kind of gouged the styrofoam, which I wasn't thinking, of course it would. But I think this looks so beautiful, and I can't wait to make the second one to flank my dining room table. So for now, I've just paired it over here with some Dollar Tree leaves. I was going to add one of these, but I didn't like it. I like just the white the greens and the creams with the galvanized metals of the tin and the thankful. So as you can see, I have some of the Dollar Tree items there. Let me get down a little bit. And I have all Dollar Tree pumpkins and that little bucket that everyone hauled from the springtime. And it says um, flowers and decor. 
and or something like that. What does it say? It says, oh, okay, flowers and garden. <laughs> and then I put some burlap on the front because I did that with a couple of them just to not make it look so springy. I put some Hobby Lobby uh, burlap hydrangeas in there and then um, paired it with the Dollar Tree pumpkins. There we go, I turned the overhead light. And then that little tray, the Buffalo Check tray, is from um, the 99 cent store. It was 99 cents, but certainly you can use whatever you have. Like I said, I'm gonna be making a second one to put on my dining table to flank each side of the centerpiece. So once I finish that, that's all I need to do. And so I'll just be taking the little pumpkin off of the clip here. And if you like in, you know, the natural colors of these, by all means, I think a lot of people are going with untraditional colors with like blush pinks and whites and creams or navies and, and greens. And I just love it because I've always loved white pumpkins um, ever since I had seen them on Martha Stewart when I was a kid. And so I just had to have them, but they were so expensive in my area. And my parents were like, yeah, we're not buying that. <laughs> so it wasn't really until I was on my own that I bought my own pumpkins, my white pumpkins, which are delicious, by the way. Anyways, this is it, guys. I've just paired it with some other decor that I happen to have, which is my Dollar Tree cake stand back there um, with my... Um, Dollar Tree pumpkins and the ball jars I recently got from a haul for free and then the Dollar Tree um, sunflowers back there in my galvanized uh, milk jug that I got from the thrift store but it was a part of the uh, home and gardens collection and that is it, you guys. I hope you liked everything. Um, I hopefully you will be inspired to maybe make something like this. I love how it turned out. I truly do. I think that the jute twine in between each division really makes a huge difference. So guys, please watch everyone else's um, video on the playlist. Get inspired and check out Christina's channel. Christina, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate you doing this challenge. Your challenges are always wonderful to do. And I'm sure everyone um, will be checking out your channel if they haven't already. So guys, have a wonderful weekend. I will talk to you later. Bye.